All right, so movie review. It's been a while. <laughs> I had some things with work, so I've been busy. I do these little videos out of my pure enjoyment. So, wrote recommends. I haven't seen a whole lot of stuff because I've been busy, so I am figured I would do what I recommend, like really good movies that I like that are not really known. And Outlander, I don't think, is that well known. So, uh, Jim Caviezel, I uh, like a lot of his movies. Uh, Outlander is a great science fiction fantasy movie. I know. Just that alone, you're like, what the hell, dude? But yes, science fiction, space, and fantasy. Swords. All together, in one big lump sum. Probably why I like it. Let's go on. So what do I like about this movie? Is um, it has that sci-fi element to it. Because you don't quite get the full story. It, it combines both science fiction to one character. Science fiction and <clears throat> the story behind the one guy, the main protagonist. Uh, between two different uh, genres. Science fiction and fantasy. And then you get an understanding of the side characters as well. So, they got all different kinds of side characters. There's one that's supposed to take over the kingdom. They're like in the Danes' time. And the girl, the princess, is like a kick-ass warrior. Go figure, right? Like it hasn't been done a million times before. But they don't make her overpowered, which is really cool. And as you can expect, she falls for the main protagonist. Go figure, right? The science fiction part, they combine an alien being, being with a dragon. And the special effects, awesome. I loved it. Um, you don't see it that much, and it has like a cloaking thing, which makes it a little bit more anticipated when you see it. But it is awesome and good storyline as well. Now, what I didn't like about it, but I figured you know, they got to put it in there because he's technically an alien on a planet where he doesn't speak the language. So they just kind of like introduce some stupid thing so he can understand the language and be able to speak it like automatically. They did this kind of with, um, was it 13th Warrior? We just hung around the guys long enough to listen to what they said. He eventually picked up the language. He can kind of do that. It was kind of interesting how they did it. But it still seemed a little cheap. And this was cheap as well. But I recommend this movie. It's a great ride nonetheless. Do not have like overly high expectations. Because it didn't go out on the silver screen. It was uh, not to my recollection. But uh, it's a good decent ride. It's a great popcorn movie to have at home with the kids. I don't think it's that too violent. And... Uh, I definitely recommend it. It's not like a 10 out of 10. It doesn't blow your socks off. Man, it's a nice, comfortable adventure ride that you will enjoy. So you can find this on Amazon Prime and I think the Roku channel right now. I know Amazon Prime. I just bought it for like five bucks. I had to buy it. That's why I kind of like, do this is an awesome movie. You should take a seat worth of five bucks that's like a rental anyway and you get to keep it on amazon prime if you have amazon prime win-win so have a great one out there and if you have any movies that you think were like a good ride like a nine out of ten eight out of ten put them in the comment section i'd like to hear them thanks